Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and patch 24.2 has launched for Hearthstone. I've gone through everything as much as I can. I've purchased runestones and oh god, they suck. Uh, I just can't stand this crap, but it's gonna be there. And if you want to purchase bundles and stuff, you gotta buy it. We're gonna go into all of that, but yes, runestones suck and there are predatory things with it already. Of course there is. We'll go into detail about it as well as the new Battlegrounds update with the pay to win rewards track and you can tell there's just negative connotations to the things I'm talking about because yes this patch felt like overall outside of the ba Battlegrounds content which is really cool and we'll talk about it just felt like you know kind of a net negative as well as there's a bunch of bugs of course with a brand new patch with a bunch of new stuff there's always bugs and I'll let you know about them because you'll might think you're missing out on XP and other stuff and it's just all around very frustrating before we get into all of that though I want to thank everybody we are closing in on 58,000 subscribers and when we hit that milestone I'm going to be doing a bigger and better giveaway than last time. So if you feel like I have earned your subscription, you want to help to support the channel, please hit that sub button. It means more than you'll ever know. And well, you can make me go broke with these giveaways that will not include runestones, by the way, because, well, we'll get into that as well, because, of course, there's issues with everything, of course. Uh, so, yes, when I loaded the Hearthstone client, um, you're immediately with a pop up of like the new Battleground stuff going on. I loaded the shop in. There you go. The top of it, you got the rewards track for battlegrounds which you can only buy with runestones or money and then you have right below it runestones and for me they're priced out this way in canadian and i did a spreadsheet and for some reason i don't know and it depends per region you're going to want to do the math it is cheaper for me to buy runestones 1000 a piece rather than 8000 it's actually one of the more expensive options i'll try and show my little excel thing i made my most expensive option was actually the smaller bundle like it's just weirdly converted and it's odd and yeah you have the different like uh breakdowns the cheapest you can get is 500 the most is 8,000, and there were a bunch of bundles in the shop and i did i as a whale and all that stuff i always buy every bundle all the portraits and by the way i just want to roll this clip of the new portrait i'm not saying buy it but the new intro for the new uh, portrait is just ridiculous check this out <laughs> okay come on Come on, that was sick. Yeah, so I, I really like the Druid portrait, even though you turn into Guff in like 10 seconds. But yeah, you can only buy those bundles with runestones. So instead of just buying it with money, you got to go through this step of buying it with runestones and then buying it with that, uh, using the runestones for that, which is just, it's a whole level of annoyance. It's, it's annoying. There's no positive to it. And there's other complications for it because, well, I loaded up the Battlegrounds client itself where it has its own unique shop. It also contains a free Battlegrounds portrait. So if you log in right now, I think it's patches or something. I, I don't remember what, actually, I don't remember the portrait. I'll show it on the screen. You can get it for free right now. So I recommend logging in, getting it for free. You don't have to spend any space dollars on it or whatever you want to call it and yeah there's that but you'll also note you can buy individual uh, little battlegrounds portraits for like 150 i believe runestones but you can't buy 150 runestones you can only buy 500 so if you want to buy all of these which there's six of them it costs you 900 runestones so at the bare minimum you have to buy a thousand runestones buy these and you're left with a hundred extra which doesn't really buy anything in the shop the cheapest thing to buy in the shop with runestones is a tavern ticket for the arena which is 200 which again you can't buy in an even number you'd have to buy a thousand and then buy five tavern tickets again this is where the predatory confusing nature of it all starts and it's just trouble that we're already in this road where they're like oh we're not going to do that kind of stuff we're going to minimize you know wasted economy well you can see here that's not the case so that's really troubling uh, the battlegrounds content itself though like with the quests all the new units and all that stuff really cool i had a lot of fun I actually streamed a tiny bit of battlegrounds i actually streamed battlegrounds got runner up did all right and i do enjoy the content but i only get to pick from two heroes because i am not paying for that advantage and if you don't yeah you're gonna be stuck with two heroes and they're gonna remind you every time you load up that you don't have it you get these big question marks and it says to buy it you know if you click on it and it's just like yeah it's pretty frustrating and all of that the uh the portrait stuff is irking people even it's ben i'll just show his tweet here relaying the same sentiment i think jay alexander said something similar a lot of content creators are kind of speaking up about it that it's just it sucks it's just it's not a cool thing the, like the runestones just they feel bad and uh there's no way around it it doesn't make the game it doesn't 
doesn't make purchasing things more fun. It just makes you trust Blizzard less. And we're trusting them less and less as time goes on. And I'm wondering, I, I keep getting comments of people being like, I'm ready to quit or I uninstalled. I don't know how much truth there is to that, but I haven't seen this much like pushback in these type of comments since like the last Battle Pass fiasco, where there was a lot of problems with it and people I'm pretty sure did quit. There's also a bunch of bugs going on in the game. Um, we got this stupid notification will not go away. Even if you cleared off all your achievements or whatever, it's there. It's really annoying. It doesn't really matter, but it's annoying. It's there. Your daily quests will also appear like they're giving less XP. If you have like the paid tavern pass, you're actually getting the correct amount of XP, but it's just visually bugged. So there's that. You're not getting robbed of your XP. It just probably feels that way. I'll also show D money here uh, as an example, getting very upset over disconnects in the battlegrounds. I had this happen to me on like my third game or second game where the rope just won't stop going and then you quit out and then you can't log in for like half an hour. I think Slissa tweeted she couldn't connect. It was a buggy mess. And I tweeted this out. Well, if we're, we're, we're charging all this space money and all this stuff on Battleground, surely they'll improve the client and put the money into that, right? No, it's going to go into Bobby Codex pockets most likely. And yeah, it's just frustrating that we got this whole new monetization scheme and all these things they want us to spend money on, but the client runs like pure garbage still and that's very frustrating. Also noted that you cannot gift runestones in the shop. I will not be able to use them for giveaways like I thought I might be able to do to try and at least circumvent people having to spend money. I could do it for you, but no, you cannot even gift runestones. I asked uh, the social media guy, Nick Deck Tech Weiss about it and he doesn't really know. He's not in the loop about it and I doubt Mr. Corporate Suit's gonna go on a Twitter and say, uh, yeah, we're not gifting it because of certain predatory reasons because that's that's the only thing I can imagine. Why you can gift pretty much everything else in the shop, but not runestones. So that really sucks. You can gift the Battlegrounds rewards track, but I will not be doing that because then I'm putting money towards it and encouraging it. And I'm effectively boycotting the Battlegrounds pass. But I did buy the other stuff, the golden packs, the regular packs and all of that. It works fine. It just feels gross. So are there any good news in this patch? Well, there is a couple of good things. The report feature is live. Uh, you can select between like three options that have other options within them. So if uh, your friend is irking you or whatever, that's good. Celestalon showed an example from their prototype. That was kind of funny. I thought I'd include that. But yeah, overall, at least the report features there. I don't know if they'll act upon it very quickly or accurately. We'll have to wait and see if people get banned for the wrong reasons. That's always scary, but it's good that you can at least get some peace of mind to report someone for like harassing you or whatever. And hopefully, you know, if that does happen, they will be, you know, actually punished for that. And another really good positive, and this could be really big in my opinion, in-game communication. When you logged into Battlegrounds, this pop-up showed up where it had a learn more tab. If you click that, it will direct you to the website which shows you all the details about the Battlegrounds patch. This is really good. This is something that Hearthstone has really lacked for. They could put this in with like when there's new nerfs, right? And you click and see the actual balance changes in the client. And I put this tweet out there, which of course, I don't get responses from, uh, <laughs> from Celestial on like ever, but I hope at least he heard it that when the heroic brawl comes in a couple of weeks they have that tab pop up so players can actually click it and see how the reward structure is if they want to put their 1000 gold because that is my biggest complaint with the heroic brawl that will be coming mid-september that they don't have a way of showing players like how much gold or how many packs they can get basically a thousand gold could literally be one pack so if they don't put that in there there will be a zeddy rant i assure you but the technology there they don't have an excuse and it's a really good thing to put in the game so i applaud them on that just please please put it in the horror brawl just minimize the amount of people that throw away a thousand gold for no good reason when they just they shouldn't be putting that at risk unless they are aware of it aware of the risk and be like okay i'm okay to gamble my thousand gold and try and have some fun maybe a high roll maybe i don't that's fine people can make their own decisions but they should at least have the information there for their decisions but yeah overall it was mostly you know the battlegrounds content which again i think is pretty cool and the monetization stuff which i really just don't like i i flat out hate the pay to win aspect of battlegrounds i think that is really slimy really bad and they should not be 100 paywalling a paid or a, a gameplay advantage in any mode i mean you can make it really hard to acquire through free-to-play means but making it only acquirable acquirable with money 
it just makes me feel uncomfortable. And as for runestones, they suck. I mean, it's kind of the industry norm of this crap. I just thought Blizzard might be above that, but they're kind of just like, you know what? We're just like everybody else. We're not a prestigious company. We're just going to do this predatory crap too. We saw with Diablo Immortal, it's spreading, it's getting worse. And it just does make me worry about where we're going, where the future of Hearthstone goes economic wise, because this just sucks. It's not fun. The game itself, you know, it has its balance issues, but the devs do a great job of putting stuff together. Sometimes it's out of whack and all of that, but the game itself is made by passionate people that make really cool stuff. It's just the economy. It just kind of puts a damper on it where I wish I was like excited over battlegrounds, but more or less, I'm just dreading what this economy stuff means for the future. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends. <laughs>